How are you doing today? Hi, good morning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can hear you perfectly. I love it. This album, first of all, the title of the album, Perception, is exactly what, what the, the listener is going to experience. Their own perception and their own personal journey. How were you able to bring all of this together like this, to, to create that path for other people to have their own individuality? Uh, well, thank you, first of all. Uh, I think you, you, you perfectly got what we wanted to do with this, uh, with this record. Um, how we did it is actually it was not intentional at the beginning. Um, maybe it comes from the way we we compose the music um, because we start we always start with the instrumental part of the of the music and um, and then I add my vocal melodies, but like directly on on the song. I was going to ask you about that they, with with how you were going to add the lyrics because I mean it's one of those things where it's like okay they had they had to build the foundation of these songs first. Yes, of course, yeah. Yeah, you, usually we start with the music and then I I I add vocals without lyrics, like random words, you know, just to have an idea of the the vocal melody with with words, how it can sound. And um and What's pretty pretty strange and and cool at the same time is that when you when you compose vocals like that, you 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 sort of hear uh, I like to call them keywords that you you didn't think about them but it just comes out of your mouth and I I noted that I I talked a lot about uh, the eyes about. Uh, emotions mm -hmm. pretty intuitively, spontaneously. So I, um, I I wrote the lyrics around these keywords for each song, basically. Well, it, um, to me, it serves as an invitation, or as I put here, I said it's it's a ticket to ride for those that are listening to go into an area. For instance, even like the song Beyond Dreams, what what that does is I, I believe in dreams. I study dreams. I just wish people would 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 go deeper into their own dreams, and a song like this one will take them deeper. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Of of course, everyone is is going to 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 find their per, a personal meaning behind behind the song, but this is definitely a song um, talking about um, pretty dark dreams yeah. or nightmares or sensations that you can that you that one can experiment during sleep, you know, and um, more specifically, uh, if you if you have nightmares. Of being uh, taken away by a, a dark entity or something like that. How could it feel, and would you be able to to come back? You know, all these questions. <laughs> when when you have a song like the call to make it so hypnotic, I mean, are you guys sitting inside that room with the engineer and just and basically, you know, I mean, because to me they, they always say that's the purest form of music is when you're inside that room. And and then but 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 a song like this is so hypnotic, and to me it's in touch with the with the human heartbeat. Yeah, um, it's indeed a, a hypnotic song. Um, we we compose it. Uh, we compose. We have a home, humble home studio, but a home studio still where we can work a lot on on the on pre-production. So almost every song that we uh, work on, uh, whether we are going to record them or not, are uh, finished. So um, we had at home a very good vision of what we wanted uh, in the studio, and it's. Sort of a, you know, it's it's all about layers mm -hmm. in for a song like the call, um, like uh, you know the, the sounds and voices and general atmosphere that can captivate the the um, the listener. At least that's what we wanted to do, and um, yeah, it's all about layers and um, and uh, and and trying to make the song become bigger at some point and um and yeah that's it how do you take it to a live stage since there's so many layers um live we uh, we have um 
I have I have the French word coming in my mouth now. I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, we have a sampler. Okay. Oh, sampler. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. So we 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 have to have a sampler because of all the um, the sounds, the layers that we have in the music that we are not going to play live. Um, that's gonna be uh, pretty much a backing track uh, that the drummer uh, starts. So. Um, so yes, that's how we we will do it live um, for the for the ele- electronic sounds, and uh, and of course all the the um, the other instruments will be played live. You know, you know what's really interesting about about this collection of music, or what I've experienced with this album called Perception, is the fact that each time that I've gone back to listen to a song, such as Stars and Storms, I mean, I, I get something different from it. In other words, and that might be the layers of, of the songs that you have. It's like, I'm hearing something different, therefore the experience is going to be different. Yeah, probably. It's probably it comes probably from for, from the layers because we um, we really like to work like that to have something in the background. And actually, you know, sometimes you when we compose, um, we feel like one uh, layer maybe is not necessary. You know, mm-hmm. you, sometimes we're like, yeah, maybe we can remove this layer. And when you 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 mute the track, this track, you realize that actually. This is something that it actually it, it glues everything together, you know. It just um, it's just the perfect uh, the perfect thing to have behind. It feels it sort of fills the gaps, you know. So um, of course, when you when you listen to 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 our music, maybe um, maybe if you have uh, headphones, you will hear the layers uh, even better. And uh, you can hear things that you didn't catch at the first at the first hearing at the first listening. Yeah. I'll tell you where I would love to listen to this. I would love to hear this with with ocular goggles on those VR goggles, be, and, and then to see a video of some sort. Because I mean, you get into that world w- with those ocular goggles, and all of a sudden, you know, that music comes on. Oh my God, that would be just unbelievable to experience stars and storms on that <laughs> level. That's a pretty good idea, actually. <laughs> I didn't thought about that. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> so the, the album cover itself, my perception is it's a human compass. Am I right? Um, what do you mean by another compass? In other words, it, it's, it's like, it's like the, cause you, you have the way that, that the whole entire album cover is, it's almost like you're, you're pointing us in a direction and we're going to use that as, as to where we're going to travel because anybody who, who listens to this and does not go anywhere mentally, something's wrong because this, this, and so that to me, the album cover is like a compass. Hold on, take this with you. You're going for a ride. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you can you can you can say that. That's that's pretty accurate. Um, the 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 reason why we 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 built this this cover like that is that we we have this wheel in the background, like looks like a, a zodiac kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and each segment of this wheel represents a song with a symbol. And um, if you if you if you if you get uh, one uh, physical copy of the of the of the CD, uh, you'll have the wheel on the the, the CD itself, what? and it looks pretty much uh, like it. It looks like an it, it's meant to be. Um, how do you say that? A uh, a pupil, an, an iris with the pupil. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's all about perception from the beginning. When we when we were talking about this wheel, uh, we already had this perception idea in uh, in mind. And uh, and yeah, it's basically uh, let's see uh, where we are going, you know. Um, so um, so it's it's great that you you got it that way because it's uh, it's it's actually very close to our uh, intention. The song "Quiet Place" reminds me, and it actually makes me feel like just get out on the highway, let's go for a ride, and let's just let nature take over. Were were you guys thinking about you know taking a long trip with this song, "A Quiet Place"? Uh, actually, not not really, wow. not really. Um, but it's great to hear the, the your own perception because it's all about uh, personal experience with the music, and uh, that's how we call the album "Perception" as well. It's uh, it's to invite people to feel. Um, but uh, "Quiet Place" um, "Quiet Place" was a bit of a struggle to to compose because we had. <laughs> 
we had some parts that were uh, that were pretty right, pretty okay, um, music-wise and um, and and vocally. I had problems finding idea. Wow. Um, sometimes you need to be in a certain mood. Mm -hmm. You need to be to be more specific yet. You need to be in the right mood for the right song when you decide to to record the vocals. At least for me. So uh, this song was a bit of a struggle, but um, actually the, 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 the image that I had in mind was more of, um, I pictured a, a dancer, classical dancer, yep. you know, moving, um, moving in space. And um, I had this kind of, um, how do you say that? This kind of um, undulation, yeah? Yeah in mind so um so so it it's all about this kind of flow of, and, and groove that you can find in the verses and um and uh and uh and the middle part with the piano that is a bit uh different from the rest of the song that brings that brings the end um but uh, but yeah i think you can you can definitely see the song uh as a uh soundtrack to a, to a ride yeah <laughs> probably because of the flow i'm shocked that cirque du soleil has not reached out to you guys to become a part of their presentation because you you've got showmanship all over this music whoa thank you thank you uh yeah it would be amazing to do that of course of course we would be uh, we would be completely uh, okay to do that with them <laughs> um yeah i think it's uh it's an album with different um atmospheres but at the same time, this sort of uh, red line of perception, emotional, uh, maybe mystical yeah. Uh, yeah. thing that's happening, it, it, can, it could be a, a good music to, to perform on, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Boy, you just described uh, the song Illusion because, I mean, it's haunting, it's dramatic. It, to me, it's a stream of words that really get inside the head and heart. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Illusion talks about the the fact that you can one can wear um, mask in public. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. the fact that you're not the same person uh, with all the people that you uh, that you that you have around you. So um, yeah, it's all about this kind of perception of uh, of yourself, and at the same time, the the way you can change. The, the, the way you see yourself depending on who you're talking to on or who you are with and of course in this song it's it's I, I just took that to a more dramatic side where you are completely lost um, you, you you basically you lose your identity Oof. <laughs> when, when you guys are putting things together because you said you have the studio and stuff at home are, are, are you punch editing the vocals as they're coming in or have you how, how are you doing that? Uh, for the vocals, um, uh, we are. Pre I, I'm pretty minimalistic. Yeah. I I just I just record them. I add a plugin to have a reverb and a bit of, of a delay, a little bit of compression, um, and that's all. Basically, yeah. it's very uh, it's very easy to do as I am not at all <laughs> a sound engineer of any kind <laughs> so um so it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty basic but um it, it's enough to see um to have the the, um, the whole picture right you know yep absolutely i totally understand that where can people go to find out more about you guys and and, and did find out more about the name the great alone Oh, the Great Alone. It's um, it it came from a, uh, a discussion that we had uh, Vince and I about uh, about the name of the band, and um, I found it pretty quickly. Like when we when we just when we first talk about uh, starting the band together, we we already had the name, and um, it came from the um, the idea. I was thinking about um, about loneliness maybe yes. because there was a little bit of covid thing that was going on at the at the time and um and we uh and we talked about this this alone world and it was like yeah this is this is interesting it sounds good uh how can we uh, build something around the name uh, alone 
and um, and uh, and I came up with the idea of the great alone after uh, thinking a lot about different concepts. And what we like about this name is that it brings or it enhances some kind of uh, individuality and some kind of um, imagination and, mm -hmm. and creation. Uh, the fact that you can um, you can build great or at least good things uh, in loneliness. Loneliness brings ref um, thinking, a lot of thinking, mm -hmm. and from thinking comes ideas, and from ideas come other co more concrete things. So that's why we uh, we chose uh, we chose the great alone. Oh, you think like I do, man! They, just amazing. You've got to come back to this show <laughs> anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. We, I appreciate that. Will you be That's brilliant kind of today, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much for having me.